Hey guys, this is Will Hader. We're doing Packet Tracer 44210. This is for CCNA4. And this Packet Tracer is almost exactly like the one we just got done doing for IPv4. And actually, I think they're all the same problem. So if you've done the previous Packet Tracer 4429, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this. It's just, it's IPv4 now. So what we're going to do is just open up R1 and we'll figure out here. Show, let's do a show run. Check out our access control lists here. And start with this first problem. Determine the ACL problem. Now these are the computers that you're gonna to have to go through and troubleshoot. And the reason why you should, if you're here for just for a quick answer, I'll give that to you, but you really need to understand this. And these troubleshooting techniques that they're having you run through are very important because you don't have a little score card at the bottom of real life scenarios. So you're going to have to figure out how to use these tools to do that. Well then, the Go or G0 access and its placement. We're going to what are our problems here? So if we look at our G0 access access control list, it's for IPv6. It's the same thing as IPv4. There is an implicit uh, there's an implicit deny. So you need to have at least one permit statement per access control list. Otherwise, all traffic, not just the intended traffic of this HTTP traffic, but all traffic will be denied. So right now we only have one statement. It's a deny statement. We need to add a permit any. So we're just going to come, uh, let's see, we'll just copy this, paste it in, give ourselves a configuration terminal, paste it in again. And now we're just going to do that permit IPv6 any any. And that should take care of that. So if we see, uh, let's see, do show access lists. And you'll see that we have that in there now. Okay. So let's move on to our next one troubleshooting FTP access. So for G0, uh, G1 access, that's this guy here. Let's see, hosts from this network are prevented from accessing FTP services of server 2, but no other restriction should be placed. As far as for that network, but there is another restriction that should be placed, and that's that secure shell. And you'll see that down here on the next troubleshooting technique. It says all, only this network should be able to allow SSH, and that's what that 22 is, a secure shell. They look like backwards S's, don't they? That's how I remember them. They look like backward S's. SS, secure shell, 22, SS, secure shell. So we want these statements in here for the, the coming problem up here. But uh, every this line needs to be in there as well to block the FTP. So it's not just what it says it is. So I think that's a little bit of a typo there. Uh, so everything here in this access control list is correct, but if you notice up here on the actual interface that it's being implemented on, it's in the out. It's in the out. We want to put it on the in. So you're always, imagine you're sitting on top of the router. Anything in isn't coming into the network, it's coming into the interface. If it's going to be out, it's not going out of the network, it's going out of that interface. So if we want to block that traffic, we don't want to block it on the interface going out because that's the wrong direction. We want to put it on the in interface, whatever this one is. So we're going to copy this like that. Copy, paste. Just paste it in there. We're going to change, uh, let's do out. We're going to say no. We're going to delete the line. And we're going to put up, up arrow, in, and then just re-enable it. Now, why did we do that? Why did we delete it and then add it back in? Well, because every interface is allowed at least one in and one out per protocol. So if we just put the in statement, there'd be two protocols there, one letting it in and one putting it out. But we don't need it to be the out, so that's why we deleted it. So now if we do the do... Oh my goodness, come on fingers, do show run. You'll see that it's in the correct direction now. Okay, 
So there you go. Let's go down some more and we'll work on the next problem. Only hosts from this network are allowed to SSH to R1. And that's what I was getting at before, where we need this line right there and this line right there. But if you see the G2 access, it's blocking it, but not before it permits all traffic. So remember how I, on the last video, all traffic is denied implicitly unless you give a permit. And you always want your most specific and restrictive commands above the permit are the uh, more looser commands. So for instance, if you want to deny a particular host, you're going to put that host first. Or if there's a particular host you're denying access to, like a destination host, a destination server, for instance, you put that first. Then you would say, oh, and then permit anything else after that. Well, right now we're permitting everything, and then this little line of mine is, permit is denying, but it's never gotten to because access control lists start at the top, work their way down, and as soon as they get a match, they send the packet on its way, all right? So let's go over to this guy, copy, paste, enter. And we're going to say no. Where are we? Where were we? I'm going to say copy, paste, and no that stuff. Okay, we're going to deny it out of there. And then we're just going to add it right back in to add it to the end of that access control list. So do show access control list, and you'll see that it got removed from the top and moved to the bottom. So we have our full points, and we're ready to turn this bugger in. I appreciate your guys' time. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like and all the other happy things that you guys can do for me. I appreciate it. If you do like these types of videos coming out regularly, I encourage you to please subscribe, and I'll get those out there as quick as maybe. You guys are awesome. Talk to you guys later. Peace.